Hey y'all, so I'm here with a fairly big uh, Bath & Body Works haul. So Bath & Body Works had their sprays and lotions and stuff like that on sale for, um, I think it was like $4.95. So needless to say, I've not purchased Bath & Body Works in a good minute. So I got quite a bit, y'all, just saying. Um, so let me show you what I got. Hang on. So I'm currently here at the dollar store because I've got to get some like drinks and stuff. But I figured I'd get this out there before it gets any darker because I've been meaning to do this in a few days now and just not got to it. Literally just got off of work not too long ago. So yeah. But anyway, so this stuff was like um the lids are off. This stuff was like $4.95, super cheap, a uh, very good price for this stuff. Um, originally these were like $17.96 as you can see but a lot of these that I purchased are my favorite some of them are new like to me um, so the first one that I got here is into the night this one I love so much so I got this one and it smells lovely so good uh, does it have a description to it no oh yeah it does Fragrance is raspberry, raspberry nor amber crisp amber crystals, <clears throat> velvety rose petals, um, creamy patchouli, and mocha musk. So it says um, evoke natural confidence and brilliance, or brilliant beauty from the beginning of your day into the knot. So yeah, this smells really good. So I got this beauty, $4.95. And then I got this one here. This one is Goldenberry Mistletoe. I've never smelled of this. And oh yeah, it smells like berries. So this is what it looks like. It's a very Christmassy pattern. And it says um, sparkling berries, sugared spruce, frosted air. Um, so yeah, got that one. I got a uh, bright Christmas morning. Um, and this one says red ripe berries, blood orange and crisp apple. I'm not gonna spray all these cause I'll be mixed oh my gosh that smells so good so I got that one I got a <coughs> ballot knots um, and it looks like this and it says uh, wild plum glowing amber and tonka cream and it says dance into the evening um as the grand velvet curtains i thought it was the same as the other but it's not curtains rays and satin slippers glide across the floor man that writing so little but yeah i got this one i'm anxious to smell this one Oh my, y'all. Oh. This is so musky and it smells so good. I have a feeling this is gonna be one of my favorites now. And where's the lid? I got a twisted peppermint mint. Y'all know it's OG, it's one of my favorites. It says cool peppermint, sugared snow, fresh boss, Fresh Balsam and Vanilla Buttercream. Oh my gosh, that one that I just sprayed smells so good, y'all. It's so musky. Um, also got a Jolly Gingerbread Village, uh, Golden Gingerbread Vanilla Icicles, and U Yuletide Timber. Cute. The Joyful Sounds of Christmas carols fill the air as the gingerbread village sparkles with cheer the holiday season is here well christmas is over but those are nice 
uh, Winterberry Wonder um, cute packaging. And the fragrance of this is, you can barely see this writing. Ruby, Ruby Frost, Whiteberry, Sparkling Cranberry, and Crystal Vanilla Grape. Somebody's car is going off. That's awesome, isn't it? And then we have a Strawberry Snowflakes, um, Juicy Strawberry, uh, Whipped Cream, and Ice bergamot I got a is that another satin slippers or did I get two of those no so I got a satin slippers it looks similar to this other one and this one has white rose dreamy jasmine and airy musk Ooh, I bet this one smells good too I said I wasn't going to spray all these, but look at me now. Oh, my. This one's more florally, 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 yeah. And it's got a little bit of musk in it, but it's more like you can smell the flowers in it, which is nice. I don't like how these lids are off of these things. What's up with that? Bath and Body Works. So this one here um, is Chasing Fireflies. I love the name of this, so I had to get it. And it looks like that. The lighting in here sucks. I do apologize, but it's getting dark. And, you know. So this one has a uh, golden... Oh, great. Okay, so this one has um, Golden Pear, Jasmine Blooms, Illuminated Woods. Ooh-wee, guys. I bet that smells good. I don't want to spray no more because I don't want to get a headache. Uh, this one's Vampire Blood. I had to get this one because I like vampires. And look at the packaging on this. And it says Red Berries, um, Not Blooming Jasmine, and Petrifying Plum. And this one here is a, ooh, my all-time favorite. This is not the lid for it, but Dark Kiss. Y'all know this one. It's my favorite. Um, black Raspberry, Burgundy Rose, Bergamot Incense, Dark Vanilla Bean, and Plum Musk. Oh, this is like a repeat. I get it always. Um, we got Midnight Spell, um, and this one's Mystic Air. Moonlight Woods and Crystal Amber. There's the packaging on that. Um, I also got now I got four of these. I know these are for men, but y'all, or no, I got, I got three of these. I know these are for men, but I'm totally gonna wear these because I like them. And I like them. I like the mahogany bath and body spray for women, but. They don't have it right now. It's They very rarely get it, and when they do get it again, I'm gonna purchase like five or six of them because I love that smell and I'm out. Um, but this here's pretty close to it. It's the Mahogany Tiki Wood uh, Bath, and Body, Bath and Body Works Body Spray. Um, and it's for men, but I'm gonna wear it because it pretty much smells like the women's one because it's like unisex, I guess you would say. So these were $4.95 and these were originally $16.95. So you know what? That's a really good deal. And I love these. So this will this will work. I'll make it work. Um also got, which my girls will probably be using this stuff too. Um now looky here, y'all. See how much I love this? Uh mahogany teak wood. Yes. I'm sorry. The notes in this is mahogany, black teak wood, and lavender. But I also got the lotions. And they were also 
$4.95. This lotion smells phenomenal. Like it's the best smell ever. Oh my Lord. I love this one. I love the Dark Kiss. These are just my favorites. I'm so glad that I got those. Um, and then I also got the Into the Night lotion with that other spray. And of course I had to get this. This is the Butterfly lotion. And it is raspberry nectar, iris petals, and airy vanilla. And of course the packaging gave it away, so I had to get that, y'all. And then I also got the fairy tale, which I told y'all what that one was. I haven't purchased Bath and Body Works in a good while, so this will do me good for a while. I still have quite a bit to use up. Like I've been using up the lotions and stuff. I've gave like I've gave quite a bit of my Bath and, Bath and Body Works away, but I still have a little bit left. So I want to try to like get through that, not buy any more. But I like I had to get these. I just I didn't have to, but I had to because for one, four nine and five is a good deal, and the Tiki Wood one, love so much. And then of course I also got the Dark Kiss um, lotion. This is different packaging, um, what versus what it used to be. But I mean I like it. But y'all, this Dark Kiss, it's a very it's like a mature scent and it's like a romantic scent and it's like a nightly scent. It's like something that you would probably wear going out or something or like, you know, I wear it whenever because I love it. Um, it's the best scent ever, like in my opinion. Bath and Body Works, y'all done really good on this because I love it. But anyways, I was glad to see that, but that is my um, Bath and Body Works haul. Where is my wallet? I said it over there somewhere. Oh, it's right there behind my phone. Um, but anyways, um, I've got to go in here and hurry up. And then cook something and then get ready for bed because I have to be up by 3.30 in the morning. And last night, I literally didn't get but probably about two hours of sleep last night. Um, I had a lot of stuff on my mind. Um... Isaiah's little friend's papa, um, he's struggling with cancer and he's in his last moments. And Isaiah was very, very close to papa. He calls him papa. Um, and he's very close to that family. And he came home yesterday. He was very tore up, crying and laying in the bed. So that tore me up. Um, I had to talk to him. And then I went back in there and I said, son, I said, can I pray for you? And, and pray for Papa and his family. And, and he just held his hand out. And so I sat there and prayed for him for a minute and his family. And it was just so sad. And it just broke my heart like so, so bad. And then by the time I get ready for bed, it was like getting late after I had my shower. And um, I just, I had so much on my mind. I couldn't sleep. I tossed and turned. I worried prayed and worried about my brother and it was just a very very rough night for me last night and then by the time I finally dozed off which was probably around like lord 12 30 or 1 o'clock I don't even know all that I know it was freaking late and I'm like boy it's gonna be a rough in this morning so I finally dozed off the next thing I know I hear my alarm going off and it was like 3 30 I'm like well I'm gonna sleep into 4 10 so I uh, snoozed that because I have one set for 310, 3.10 or 3.30, and then I have one for 4.10. So I'm like, I'm going to go on and sleep to 4.10, okay? So I literally, the alarm goes off. I jump up, and I'm like all out of sorts. I'm like, oh, my God, I'm late for work, which I wasn't. And it was one of those startles where you're like, it takes you a minute to recollect yourself. That's where I was at. And so I jumped up, started getting ready, and I was like, man, it's going to be a daggum rough day. And it was, I mean, it wasn't rough, like, really work-wise, but it was, like, rough staying up and go, like, you know, just staying motivated because I was just dragging. Um, but anyways, I need to get some rest tonight. And, um, but whenever y'all pray, say a prayer for him because, and their family and Papa because they're all taking it rough and it just breaks my heart 
to see people struggle and, and be sad and especially when it's your kid like it's like you can feel it you know so I just had a rough time sleeping and worrying and you know that's what mamas do right but um and then someone had asked about my brother if he was in like the hospital or a place no he's not he's just wherever he wants to be um and he is in a very bad shape a uh, very 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 bad shape um and just keep him in your prayers and keep everybody else in in your prayers that are struggling and um the sick and all this stuff because you know we're living in some rough times and um there's a lot of people going through things so we got to stick together and pray and man it was just i was driving to work today and i was like so tired and i was driving to work listening to music that song the prayer by selena dion and what is the other guy's name but anyway it's, it's one of my favorite songs and i started pr playing that song it just came to my mind this morning i was like i'm gonna play that on the way to work and i played it and i prayed a little bit and then i was about to cry and I'm like, I can't cry. I've got to go to work. My makeup's going to be all splattered all over my face. So I didn't, but I made it through the day. And it's just, it's it's rough when you have family struggling and not knowing if they're going to be here the next day or there's nothing you can do for them. And my brother is, I don't even have words for it. Like I don't, he's, I don't want to say a lost so, but he is a lost so. Like I, like I, I know that he knows Jesus and everything, but his he's like pulled like this. He's pulled this way. He's pulled that way. He's pulled this way. He's pulled that way, and he is just not my brother anymore. He is, or he has become someone that like I know my brother's in there, but also he's not and it's it's sad it's it's very very sad um and even like i had to go check check on him because nobody could find him and i had to go drive down there and check on him but um even the time that i do get to spend with him just like that little short time it's like he's not there and like for a glimpse maybe like for a minute or two I can I can see my brother like for a minute he'll snap back and like kind of like be like my old brother and then he's boom right back and that's what Satan will do to you if you let him he will destroy your life and he will make the path look clear when in reality it's not so just keep him in your prayers and um, keep Isaiah's friends, family in their prayers and have all that's passing away and um, pray for us. I'll be praying for y'all and stay strong. Uh, what is today? Wednesday, I think. So I have one more day to go and then I'm off for the freaking weekend. Yeah, I'm ha happy for that. I'm telling you when you're off for a few days at work and you got to go back, it's like, where am I? Like, I need to be home. I need to be on my couch watching TV or I need to be doing this and be doing that. But anyways, I'm thankful that I have a job. But I will talk to you guys later and thanks for watching. Bye.